Next, we're going to make the pillow. So to make the pillow, we will do the same process almost like the sofa cushion. So what we do is actually we want to decide that the, the pillow should be maybe there should be two pillows on the bed. So we start with the cube. So then we adjust the cube to have something like a pillow shape size. When I pull out this one, and I try to make sure the height and also the thickness looks roughly like a pillow shape over like that. So once we get the blocking correctly, then we can just start doing some modeling on it. So how to start on this one? So we need to think about the um, pillow, right? Pillow is a uh, kind of there's a form to it, right? There's a form to it. So to get a form, I will actually just decide on the subdivision first. I will get more subdivision faces on, especially on the let's say it's actually a rectangle rather than cube or square face, right? So we actually get more let's say subdivision along the let's say the longer surface here okay so once I've done that right probably I'll get also subdivision from here also I'm trying to get a square for all the parts here so when I go ahead and now I'm going to use the different viewport to adjust my kilo so I'm trying to make a shape because if I were to press 3 and I'll get very flat kind of pillow shape so to solve that issue right what i did was actually i actually model up the hold the vertex a bit more on the pillow get a bit more rounded shape before i go and smooth them so when i use now I have more subdivision actually can able to kind of like adjust the pillow a bit into something like organized more let's say faces like this like a bit more rounded faces when I press 3, the, the kind of like is much better form. Much better form. With this right now, of course, I want to add a little bit more edges. Like, I want to have this shape here holds a bit more, especially on this line here. So, people have this usually have this kind of like parts where they, they have this very thick frame, uh, like kind of like a holder for the entire pillow. So, uh, what I did was I actually use the barrel. Okay, so bevel can be used also for this one. If you use as a similar one, you can use to let's say divide any uh, lines into two. Okay, so there's something like that. All right. So the next thing is, let's say if you want to check and get something like that. All right. I will maybe now I will try to let's see what can I do. I probably want to use the H two. I want to adjust a bit more. H two two. I want to adjust a bit more on the shape. So I want to kind of like pull these faces. So maybe I'm oh, still in the edge loop too. Always double check before you not even issue. Okay, so I'm now I'm trying to scale up this part here so we have something this kind of shape. So when this shape looks will be much better, looks like a form of a kilo. And then I want to kind of like adjust the middle a bit to get a bit more fluffy feel so again i can actually use the space tool to pull the shape up so i'll probably only need to do the polygon face on the top of me so yes that's literally what will affect from there okay so if i press 3 now it's actually more fluffy shape ready so it looks like more like pillow shape okay so i can put it here then if i will check back right so if you want to have let's say a better let's say a whole of the pillow form because you notice that it's a bit too rounded in the case right there again you can actually use the inch loop tool to just add line here and you'll hold the form better so this one up down option you can actually think about uh, making especially making pillow you want to have something like this looks okay and probably you're going to turn this one using the soft softened edges to make the entire thing soft like this Okay, so if I look back now, full screen, I can actually adjust more. Okay, adjust more. So once, let's say if I want to happy with this right, I can actually go ahead and smooth it. Smooth it once probably looks okay already, but it's 540, which is, I mean, in some cases, if you think it's too much, it's still, you can still reduce it. Once you've done this right, so you can actually, it looks like the shape is this bigger than expected, I can scale it down a bit and then I can actually 
show you that will be duplicate let's say two below one of the pillow right and actually you can show you what happens and what how do I optimize the pillow so now this below I'll probably look at the uh, edges face and do it is there any way I can actually reduce the polygon count so a lot of times I will probably think at reducing an alternate line so you see here one line I'll select another line I will select another line I'll select and this is how actually I will do optimization especially when I have a lot of polygon face like this right so once I reduce and you actually see a significant reduce on the on the polygon count from 500 to 300 something okay so the same goes with the other side if you feel that there's need to there's no need for certain forms to hold you can actually reduce that and you still can get a very nice polygon count from that so as this one's about 200 plus it will turn off and lose something still okay in some senses but if you want to keep the line by all means go ahead it's still okay right so once i'm happy with this i also can uh, let's say tweak it using the deformer tool so the deformer tool that i showed earlier the lattice right it also allows you to do more deformation let's say if i increase the more on the subdivision using the subdivision now i actually can let's say adjust some of the pillow forms to go down a bit more so in this case this one the, the um, lattice is probably need to a bit more wary on the uh, usage let's say if i want to pull this only this area down Oops. so i can push the lattice down or say so be careful about what i'm trying to choose here so i actually can be a bit more deformed like it should be uneven sometimes i will can adjust my pillow to get a bit more uneven shape by using like this okay so i can pull this one a bit more like that and okay if i want to feel that the whole thing maybe this part here can actually adjust a little bit more then i can actually pull it up a bit okay as long as i'm not polygon then it will be good enough for me to pull it so this is one of the way i can continue to tweak after i smooth it and then i want to adjust anything like using like this tool is probably very useful okay so you can just delete all by history and you get something shape like this so it's still a bit organic and you see some wrinkles on it rather than a very smooth polygon face like this so this is one way you actually can build the pillow and then you can go ahead and try it out okay to conclude this bedsheet lesson right you actually now know we are using the same process again you start the model from the original shape then after that you go smooth areas that you needed to smooth then after that you optimize it to the extra lines remove it so it becomes less polygon so you can see here the lines actually is reduced so we we'll always remember this process that when you want to do any smooth on the object it's good to always get a low poly unwrap it first then after that you do the smooth to get a bit higher poly then you reduce the polygon count and try to the, uh, do more on this right then you can actually get a more optimized object that you can put into the game that will not affect the game performances so to to conclude everything here hopefully you guys actually understand how to do some polygon modeling and also some organic type of model for example like the cloth for let's say sofa and also for bedsheet this will give you enough information and also skill set that are able to model anything that that is actually a bit more like usable in daily life or even you can do for any fantasy type of some you understand the topology of the model always try to remember what are you trying to make the game for are you making the game for the uh, top down isometric then probably low poly is still okay once you go to first person third person it's probably not okay but the trick is right when a lot of times in the industry what we do is actually when you have something that's a bit higher poly from far it still looks much far better than the low poly so what we do we actually we did the uh, 
the function LD. As I mentioned before, LD was actually the level of details, which is part of the asset management tools that we can use to reduce the polygon. So the object will be high poly when it goes near, low poly when it goes far. So sometimes keeping different different kind of the details of the object separately will be good for backing up in the future. Let's say if you want to do let's say LD for this. So if anything else you can try the exercise and let me know if you have any problem on this. See you then.